Hello, friends. Take a look at these images. They're really funny, aren't they? Well, although we didn't realize it, we saw them because our eyes were working. The sense of sight is super important, and that's why we're going to find out exactly how it works. Now we all know that the sense of sight works thanks to our eyes. The eyes are responsible for picking up shapes, sizes, and colors of everything around us through light. And then this information is sent to the brain. This is why we know how to react. For example, if we see something that scares us, like this man who's scared of spiders. Believe it or not, a human eye is almost as big as a ping pong ball. And to better understand how it works, we need to know its parts. First, let's get to know the parts that protect our eyes. Which are the eyelids, eyebrows, eyelashes, and the lacrimal gland. The eyelids are like doors or windows that close so that nothing enters our eyes. When we sleep, when there is a strong light, or when an object comes towards our eyes, the eyelids close to protect them. And sometimes they do it so quickly that we don't even notice. Eyebrows prevent soapy water or sweat on our foreheads from entering our eyes. They're like little walls of hair. Eyelashes also protect our eyes as they prevent dust or bugs from entering them. The lacrimal glands are tear factories and are very important because they keep our eyes moist, clean and healthy. We have already learnt about the protective parts. Now we're going to learn about the parts of the eye that allow us to see. These include the cornea, the iris, the pupil, the retina, the lens, and the optic nerve. The cornea is an almost transparent layer that allows us to focus on objects. The iris is the part of the eye that has colour and controls the amount of light that passes through the pupil. The pupil is a small black hole in the middle of the eye. It allows and regulates the passage of light to the retina. When there is a lot of light, the pupils close a little bit. They become tiny. They contract so we are not bothered by the light. Whereas when there is little light, the pupils increase in size. They dilate, meaning they become larger. In this way, more light enters the eye and we can see better. The crystalline lens allows us to focus on objects depending on whether they are closer or further away. Finally, the retina receives the light and transforms it into electrical signals, which are then sent through the optic nerve to the brain. And it is there where they are converted into mental images, which are what we actually see. It's amazing to think that all of this is done by our body in less than a second, isn't it? 
Well, now we have seen how the eyes and their parts work. Goodbye, friends. See you soon.